Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Coming up on Christmas, lots of people travel for the holidays. Uh, I travel for the holidays all the time. It's the one time of the year I make it a point to make it back to my hometown and spend Christmas with my family. Uh, I've been doing it my entire life. I haven't missed a year yet. Uh, I'm not exactly planning on missing a year anytime soon. Uh, so I'm always on the road a little before Christmas, a little after Christmas. Uh, so I always hope for good weather. Uh, I don't always get it. Uh, a couple of times every uh, few trips where the weather is completely bad. For the past decade or so, I have to drive up through Pennsylvania, uh, which is full of mountains and rural areas and, and everything uh, like that. That snow just tends to pile up and wind tends to cut across. And if the snow is coming down while the wind is cutting across and the snow is piling up, it gets really difficult to see. Even worse, it gets really difficult to see the spots where the road has frozen over, so you never know exactly where your wheels are going to catch and where they're not. Uh, and that always leads to some fun little bit of adventure. Uh, there have been other trips back and forth where uh, I've narrowly avoided utter disaster. Uh, there was one time going back to college in Rochester, uh, and this wasn't even for Christmas. This was coming back from Thanksgiving. So this is in November, and the weather was so bad that coming off of uh, the interstate onto the local roads, uh, there was absolutely no way my car was going to stop. The light was red at the intersection, the weather was horrible, and everything was just a sheet of ice. Oh, and they had just recently moved the uh, on-ramp to the highway from directly opposite the off-ramp to the other side of uh, the intersection. So not only am I heading straight toward a red light, I'm also heading straight toward a fence that says, do not enter, we've removed this road. And that played out with basically a turn the wheel and hope scenario, which is by far not my favorite way to drive. Everything caught just fine, slid through the intersection. There was no one else stupid enough to be on the road at that time. Uh, but it was an adventure. Uh, it was not the most pleasant thing. And weather, uh, you know, snow and ice uh, make travel tricky and dangerous and, and sometimes lead to interesting stories, but mostly just lead to a lot of frustration. Now, it's been really warm this year, uh, especially down here by me in D.C., for December and a lot of uh, lot of November. Uh, just the other day, it was up around 70 degrees, which is absolutely unheard of uh, in my experience for uh, how December is supposed to go. So uh, I'm, I'm a little concerned that, that it's going to finally remember that it's winter uh, right before I do this drive up to New York from the D.C. area and I get hit with all of this crazy snow and sleet and have to drive through it. Uh, again, this leads to me really wishing there were teleporters because that would make life so much easier. Uh, granted, it would also probably lead to some problems like a, uh, you know, like in the fly. That's not how I want to show up for Christmas. Uh, turned inside out or mixed with some sort of critter, that would be bad. That wouldn't go over well. Maybe teleporters wouldn't be the best things. I, they'd be better than driving in, in snow and ice, though. So what is your craziest uh, holiday travel story? I want to hear uh, down in the comments. Let me know what the most ridiculous holiday trip uh, you've had to make is. Uh, was it something that could have shown up in one of the National Lampoon's vacation films? Uh, was it just, you know, really bad weather that you had to make it through because you had to get home to the family? Tell me in the comments. I want to hear your stories. If uh, you like the stuff I talk about, this one's, th this is one of those random days. 
Uh, give me a thumbs up right down there. If you are subscribed, thank you for being subscribed. And if you are not subscribed, subscribe so you get notified when these things come out. If you know anyone else who would like to uh, be entertained, I hope, by the uh, stuff that I do, share this or one of my other videos with them so we can get them involved in the conversation. I'm Kier. That's it for today. Guess I'll see you tomorrow.